This is Paul Brarin from Take or Try, and I have met Franklin in the past. Franklin, I remember your title. Uh, I met you way back at CES 2012. So, how are you doing today, and how's the show been for you so far? Oh, the show's been very wonderful. It's good to see you again. So, go ahead. No, and thank you for your presentation earlier today. I got to sit on. Uh, it was great. Thank you, and it was a very good presentation. We were talking about how the Synology XS Plus series can be used for uh, uh, SME storage, and uh, we have the new product right here. It can do up to 90,000 random IOPS. It's great for small businesses and small enterprises. Great. If you can show me around, I'll get close to the hardware. All right, so let's start. In, so we can start right behind you right here. Here, we're, here at Synology, if you're looking at managing multiple Synology products, we can take a look right here. We have the Synology CMS software. So with CMS, centralized oh, geez. centralized management, I didn't log in here. And I'll get a little closer in a second. If you can hold the mic with your other hand. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. So let me go ahead and get this reloaded right here. So with CMS, uh, let me see, get this reloaded. Get this reload. Okay, here we go. So let's try this again. So with CMS, CMS is a centralized management service that allows you to manage multiple disk stations all concurrently. And it's not the, uh, oh, my volume crashed. Looks like someone pulled out way too many disks right here. So unfortunately, this demo is not working. So that's unfortunate. We're at a public trade show, so a lot of people pulling out disks. So we have CMS running right over here. Where would you use CMS is basically through bi-directional syncing with CloudStation. And with CloudStation, you can have it where you can sync files back and forth, left and right. And that's where you can uh, use it for a solution here for multiple, uh, multiple locations around the, around the country or around the world. So we're rolling right over here. This is CloudStation right over here. And as you can see right here, we got these couple disk stations right here. They're all linked together. And this is where you can share files and use bi-directional syncing. As here, I have the CloudStation clients currently linked up to uh, the other disk station 100.4. And then I can just jump in right here. This is 100.4 right here. And this is the CloudStation server. And right here, I can set it up where files are being synced left and right. So here is CMS shared. So these files right here, they're being synced on the other disk station originally on the 415 plus. So these are these two disk stations right here. They're syncing files back and forth. And that means they're sharing files back and forth. So where you can put these in multiple locations, they can sync files. And that's a great way for distributed uh, offices or construction offices, creative agencies. These are the various different types of places where you can use bidirectional syncing to share files back and forth. Uh, rolling around the booth, we are demonstrating that uh, surveillance station right here. You can use Synology products for surveillance station. And this is where you use the Synology network attached storage for IP video surveillance. You can, uh, we're compatible with over, I think, over 3,500 different cameras, 80 different vendors right now. You can put this on the network, capture and record all your video data. With our new XS Plus series, you can store up to 1.5 terab uh, 1.5 years worth of video retention using 35 high definition cameras. Over here, we're giving an example of core aggregation. So with core aggregation, this is a concept we can take a look right up here. Core aggregation is where you can have multiple computers, multiple one gig network computers leverage 10 gig ethernet, and they can all uh, run at full saturation. So they basically, with those, one indi those individual computers right there, they can only manage one gig ethernet. That's great, but they have 20 gigs of aggregate performance on the back end. What uh, Synology products do support 10 gig Ethernet is the XS and the XS Plus series. So taking a look right here, I can move this a little closer. This is the Synology DS2015 XS. It is the Synology's first product to feature dual 10 gig Ethernet on the back. So this is a great product if you want to use it for creative agencies or you want to use it for uh, Photoshop editing. Uh, those are the comp types of offices that need to have 20 gigs of Ethernet performance. This is where you can really leverage that technology. We also have other rack mount solutions right here. This is the, taking a look at this bad boy right here. This is the Synology. Uh, RS3614 XS Plus, it's a 12 bay, 2U scalable solution. And it's a 2U solution right here. So you can use a 3.5, 2.5 inch drive. It is capable of 10 gig Ethernet, and it's quad 10 gig. And now let's see, that's uh, the 2U solution right there. And now rolling around here. Right here, we have a demonstration of Docker. We're looking at the future right here. Docker is a great way of leveraging new ways of managing the VM or application sprawl right here. So with Docker, we Synology now supports Docker. So now you can install applications, Linux-based apps on the Synology product. We can take a look right here on our GUI. 
So you can take a look right here. So with this, you can have all these different types of applications running with on a Synology disk station. If you want to look at leveraging Docker, whether you're doing a production environment or a development environment for DevOps, the best advantage is grab a disk station or a rack station. You rack it, load disks, load the Synology DSM, and you can go ahead and get started with running a Docker environment right here. So yeah, this is a great way. So with Synology, uh, Docker, this is a, it makes it very easy to manage and very easy to see what resources you're utilizing on your environment. And then back here, we're showing the traditional, the good old classic Synology high availability right here. With high availability, this is where, of course, you grab two Synology products, link them together, and it's a highly available storage. If you have one rack station fail, whether it's total power fail, total network fail, total drive fail, the other rack station takes over automatically, and it's all set up through Synology high availability. This technology is available for free with Synology Business Series products, and this is now an example of high availability between two products. Now, I do want to show you something really great that Synology has just released with the new XS Plus series. And this is the new high, highly, highly available solution under a single stack. So we can walk right over here, go in right here. This is the best, the best uh, cream of the crop solution right here. We have the Synology RC180 15XS Plus. This is a highly scalable solution. It scales up to 180 bays worth of storage capacity. It is a dual head redundant controller solution. So you have two heads. Uh, each expansion unit comes with redundant control. This entire solution starts under $12,000. And it's really great for small businesses that need to have an alternative to SAN. So you look at something a little bit more affordable. As you can see right here, we have a couple deployment options with between the two different models. So with, the, with the RC180 15XS Plus, it's a dual head configuration. So it's high availability in a single stack. If one of the heads fail, if one of the controllers fails, the other one takes over automatically. And this, uh, this model leverages dual port uh, SAS. If you want to use dual port SATA, you have the option of using the RS-180 16XS Plus, and this is where you have highly available storage between the Synology components and also your high availability of your hard drives, so, but it does require dual stack. I did mention redundant controllers, so we're taking a look back here. This is the Synology uh, redundant controller solution right here. This is the 180RC 18015XS Plus, and as you can see right here, I'm going to pull this out. Oops. This is a redundant controller solution. It's hot swappable. So again, if one of the controllers have a problem, they fail, the other controller will take over automatically. All Synology business products do support redundant fans. So that means if one of the fan fails, the other fan takes over automatically. So that's the, and as you can hear, I'm not sure if you're gonna hear that, but the rest of the fans did spin up. Let me uh, put this back in here. So the rest of the fans did spin up to maintain cooling capacity. Some of the new functions of the new XS Plus series, we now included support for BTRFS. So let's take a look at some of the advantages of what BTRFS has to offer. And as you can see right here, this is my high availability manager. It's now recovering from me removing the controller. So this is totally normal because I removed the controller. It's now trying to recover. So that's going to handle in the background. But with the new BTRFS file system leveraging it, we're now utilizing the new Data Protection Manager. With Synology Data Protection Manager, you basically, we can do snapshots every five minutes and allow users to recover from those errors rel relatively quickly. We also enable support for CRC32 bit rot protection, and we also have shared folder quotas. I'm gonna go ahead and show an example of the snapshot capability. As you can see right here, we have snapshots occurring every five minutes, so that means if a user just makes a mistake in one of these files, or it's deleted a file, or whatever, they can easily, the individual user themselves can easily log in, go to the snapshot folder right here, and the individual user themselves can easily log in, find the file that they need, copy the file, put it on their desktop, put it somewhere else, and they can go ahead and start editing the file and start utilizing and making those corrections. So this is how Synology, we're taking enterprise level functionality and we're making it a lot easier and a lot more accessible for smaller for small enterprises and that will be on the individual user. It also saves time for the IT administrator as well. Thank you, Franklin. Um, if we could just focus on the lower end for a moment, then I have two questions based on something I just saw. So over to my left here, what's the latest model number and price point for where the entry level stuff? 
For Synology products, we have a wide range of products, ranging from one base all the way up to our 180 base scalable, scalable solution. I got a couple models right here. This is a DS415 Play. Great for home use, great for multimedia storage. And of course, I have a DS715 right here. This is a two base solution that's scalable up to seven bays. And again, it is, and this one retails for around $400. And all of this, mo the majority of Synology products are hot swap capable. And I can pull the drive out right here, and there we go. It does support two and a half and three and a half inch drives and th this particular drive right here give me one second does support the screwless drive trays so, so with the screw drive trays you just take your three and a half inch drive stick it in there and then you just attach these little locking mechanisms right here the locking mechanism right here sorry you attach the locking mechanism right here and then you can just go ahead and then rack the drive back into the unit like so now around the corner I saw a couple things about Support for user groups, uh, VMUG, and also I'll be in Indianapolis with Dave McCabe in a couple of weeks. I know you supported the Home Server Show crew in the past. So uh, if you could speak a little bit about what you do with outreach communities and uh, right around here, you had some. Yep. So here at Synology, we are a proud supporter of VMUG. So as you can see right here, we got the VMUG right here. VMUG here is a great community, a great way of how letting people learn about VMUG technology and of course the certification. It's a great user community. Uh, Synology supports VMUX through uh, sponsorships through, with various different models of Synology products. And of course, we also travel around the country sponsoring their individual v VMUG sessions. Cool. And on my own site, VMUG Advantage has been great because people don't have to worry about licensing for a year, about $200. Get some VMUG Advantage. Can you just talk to that second screen? There? Yeah, there we go. So with VMUG Advantage, is a Basically, it's a great way of maintaining your certification through VMUG, and how Synology ties into that is that what the great thing with the Synology DSM is whether you're using the smaller scale business unit or the large scale business unit, where it's from the biz, to business from the lab, the experience is exactly the same. So you can leverage and maintain your certification at home using VMUG Advantage and get those certifications. Use the Synology DS713 Plus or the DS1515 Plus at home to maintain your certification, gain the experience. And then of course you take that knowledge, you bring it to the pr production world with these large scale units right here. We got the, with the uh, XS Plus series right here, 12 bay highly scalable system with redundant controllers. Well, Franklin, thank you so much for your extensive overview of your whole product line. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to um, hearing what's coming next from Synology. And I'll stay tuned. And thank you again.